Hi, my YouTube family. It is your girl, Diva Diamond of Diva Diamond Designs. How are you doing tonight? Oh, the girls is looking good. Hope everybody's doing good this evening. I wanted to come back with a second video to show you how to make a mirrored tray floral arrangement. So, I have the two Dollar Tree mirrors that I took the frames off. You know, it has those little clip pieces in the back. You just take it off there. I think you'll have the frame and this bike part. So just sit that to the side. You probably can use it for another video. So you're gonna have your two mirrors and I've already cleaned them, but I've been cutting my flowers. So I have flower pieces everywhere. So I'm gonna have to maybe clean it again later. So you have your two mirrors. What you're going to do is get you an anchor. You can use poster board or um, paper plate. I've seen someone use paper plates. I just have some old cardboard that I cut in two strips. And I'm going to put this on my um, back of my mirrors. So now that I have, um, and someone's calling me. Missed that call. Sorry about that. So I have my two pieces of post. I mean, um, cardboard that I'm going to cut, and now I have four. And I'm going to put each two of them on the back of my mirror, and it's going to be like my little feet or little base or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to put it in the corner of the mirror. So, I got my handy dandy glue gun and just putting a little, you know, glue on the board. And I'm going to put it closest to the edge as I can get it or not to show. I'm going to press down gently but not too hard because this is a Dollar Tree mirror so it's very fragile. So, be very, very careful. And don't forget that that hot glue is very hot, so you don't want to burn yourself as well. Okay, I'm going to get my next piece. And I'm about out of glue, so I'm going to grab my glue stick. And I purchased these from the Dollar Tree. I think you get 30 in a pack. So I'm going to put... Oh, it's not ready yet, but <laughs> it's almost empty. So I'm going to glue my next one. Use your glue, you know, sparingly. For something like this, I, you know, I won't use the E6000 because, I mean, you can, but since it's just, you know, a mirror, I'll just use the hot glue. So these are going to be like my little baseboards. And I have glued them in the corner of the mirror. So I'm going to do the next mirror like that. I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to put my feet on it as well. Let me see if my glue stick is ready for them. I think it is. And so I'm going to put my glue on the cardboard. No. There we go. Over there. And I tell you, I just got a call, and guess what? I hear a beep on my phone. So if you hear that, that lets you know my battery is about to die. So I hope I can finish this uh, video before my cell phone dies. Or guess what? I'm going to have to redo this video tomorrow. So let me just kind of speed up a little bit. Next cardboard, I'm going to put my glue on. This bad one must be really hot because it went through that glue stick. So, I'm going to put this on. And I have another piece of cardboard here. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to need a little piece to put in the middle, so I'm just going to 
cut a strip about this big, just some old cardboard, and I'm going to make two strips like that. And these are what I'm going to put in the middle. So when you're getting ready to put your mirrors together, you want your cardboards on the opposite side. You don't want them like this because then your mirrors are going to be wobbly. So we're going to place them on the opposite side and then I'm going to glue that middle piece in there. I might could have used a longer piece, but yeah, I'm going to make that just a little bit longer, guys. So I'm going to cut two more strips and I'm going to show you. So I cut two more strips of cardboard because I was going to use these two short pieces, but I think they're going to be a little short. So let me get ready to glue this in and make sure your mirrors are touching, they're meeting. Because when you glue them down, you want them to, to stick. And I need another glue stick. No, for some reason, my this glue stick is really um, going through really fast. I don't know if that's good or bad. So I've got my glue on there. I'm going to make sure that my mirrors are meeting and touching. I'm going to turn it over. You gotta move quickly because you know this glue dries fast. So these are gonna be my little middle feet. Just gonna press it down gently because this is a Dollar Tree mirror, so you know it will break easily. Get my hair out of the way, so I won't move glue all over it. And I'll be picking glue out my hair all night. So do my next little cardboard feet. And this is so cute, you guys. I thought of this the other day and I was like, I'm going to see if I can make a, someone made a similar tray, but they didn't use flowers, they used gemstones. I was like, I'm going to try this with the flowers, just pressing gently and be careful not to burn yourself. You see the little spider webs, they'll come off easily once they dry. And so what I'm going to do now is show you what it looks like on the and this is what it looks like. So, this is what it looks like together. So I'm gonna move my placement out of the way so I can sit this down gently. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start um, gluing my flowers on. So, since my colors for the Mother's Day luncheon is going to be fuchsia. I'm going to start with, um, I think these are dahlias, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure. Yeah. I have the fuchsia dahlias. So, and they're really cool and pretty. So, I wanted to use these on the edge of the mirror. And I've already taken the flowers off the stem. And I'm just going to glue it down to the mirror. And just press gently and it'll go right on. I kind of laid my flowers out kind of where I wanted them. So I'm just pulling from right in front of me. If you see, they're right there. Because I had to make sure that my um, colors kind of laid out the way I wanted them. So I'm starting with my corner pieces. So when you find out the main color that you're really, really using, you use those first. And press them gently on your mirror. Try to go to the edge as close as you can. And just press gently. Again, this is a Dollar Tree mirror, so be careful. You don't want to cut yourself. You don't want your mirror to break. And you don't want to get burned by your hot glue. One. So I'm just pressing gently using a generous amount of glue. Um, okay. And these I'm going to put right where the center of the uh, mirrors meet. I'm going to use dahlias there as well. Has anybody um, heard about what's going on with Kanye? I just think he uh, is having like a mental breakdown. I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but I just truly believe he's having like a mental breakdown. My heart goes out to his family and um, you know,
know go out to him. But I hope he gets the help he needs. I know he had an um, interview with Charlemagne the God. And he was talking about um, they put him on six or seven different um, mental medications. And sometimes he takes them and sometimes he don't. But you know, the man has never really hurt anybody. But over the years, he has been saying some crazy stuff. And just my heart just goes out to him. I don't think he'll be a threat to anyone like that, but I just know he needs some help. So, you know, that that um those mental issues is just nothing to, to play with. So if you do have mental issues or you're depressed, seek help. There is help out there for you. As long as you got a good family support system, I don't know about the Kardashians because we are talking about the Kardashians. And I know his mother is deceased, so I hope that you know, there for him for the right reasons. And I know a lot of people are trying to boycott him, you know, like they're doing Bill Cosby and R. Kelly at this time, but I really don't think he needs that. I do know he needs some help. Not saying he needs to be 10, 13 or anything, but just really needs some help and some counseling. So, you know, as you're praying for your family, pray for him. He's not my favorite rapper or favorite person, but my heart just goes out to him. Just just literally goes out to him. Did anybody watch um, Loving You Was Wrong on OWN the other night? Oh my God, my show is back. And that Veronica is crazy. When I tell you she barged up on um, Erica and her uh, husband David at David's new house and said, this is my house. And when she said the MF word on own, I was like, Oprah, did you approve that? You know, they was out there just cussing and getting it all. And he called her crazy. But um, it, it's getting really good. But I think that was the first show. So we're going to see what's going to go on with that. That's one of my favorite, favorite shows. But my, my most favorite show is Queen Sugar. And I'm so ready for that to come back on. And I think it comes back on in the fall. So I got a little bit of a wait. A little bit of a wait. A little bit of a wait. I got things going on at my job this week. And I was thinking about doing some. It's, it's National Hospital Week. And um, they got uh, Monday is Dress as Your Favorite Hero. And I was like, mm, I got a black jumper. I might try to go be Catwoman. So I need to try to find me a little cat mask and, um, you know, and find the right kind of shoes. I don't I have plenty of shoes, but I don't know if I want to wear my high heel shoes as Catwoman or find some other type of little cute shoe to wear. So I'm, I'm going to see if I'm going to participate that. And I like Wonder Woman, so I might go to Party City and see if they have, like, you know, what kind of costumes they have that are superheroes because Monday is superhero day. And then I think Tuesday is dress as your favorite um, movie star. And Wednesday is tacky day. I think Thursday is Western day. And uh, Friday might be mix and match day, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm excited to see what, what everybody's gonna be wearing, you know, and you know, people will be bringing different things to eat. So I'm, I'm just excited to see, you know, what's gonna go on, so. And I'll let you know if I decide, decide to participate and dress up, because I might change my mind any minute. You know, I'll be tired, whoo, girl, I'll be tired. Sometimes I don't wanna do anything. I don't know any, if anybody is like me or not. One minute you're just excited about doing something, the next minute you even got tired of doing other stuff. And when it's time for you to do what you thought you was going to do, those plans change, honey. When you get close to 50, it ain't like you when you in your 20s and 30s. Trust me. We just don't have the energy anymore. It's like I'm sitting up here, I was like, okay, I know I might be tired, but. I need to make this video. I keep talking about 
you know, doing these trays, doing those flower arrangements. And I just had to get them out tonight, which is why you see me still in this dress I hadn't changed. Got off of work, decided to come in here and do these videos for you guys because I told you that I was going to be making them. So I had to come on in and put them together, darling. So that's what I'm doing right now. Need another glue stick. So just arrange your flowers just up and down the um, the mirrors. Do not put a flower in the center because we're going to do something a little bit different with the center. So do not put a flower in the center of your tray. I decided you can either put like gemstones down the center if you want to. I'm not going to do that. I got the um, Dollar Tree, um, the little um, scripture words or spiritual words that you put on the wall. I'm going to put that in the center of my tray. And I hope you guys like it. And this tray here is um, the one I'm going to have on the um, table for when the ladies come over. So I hope they like it as well. So let's see what I got here. I have a rose on this side. Do I have another rose? Like that one? I'm going to put my, yeah, put my rose on. Just mash them down gently and be careful. This is such an easy DIY, and I hope you guys just love it. Like I said, I kind of threw it together in my mind, and I'm so excited to see how it looks. And the, um, the floral gems and the um, flower arrangements I did earlier, that was just thrown together in my mind. Like I said, you know, I may not be... Um, a certified planner or flower arranger or anything like that but just what comes to my mind if I want to decorate with it I'm gonna put it together and it's gonna look like something so anybody can do this if you just put your mind to it and decorate how you want that's all that matters that's all all that matters to put maybe okay, I can put a little rose in there because this one here is um, got a little space in there and I don't want it so I fill in and if you see a little space once you're going down you got a little space in there just, just add a flower that's all you got to do just add a flower but I do not. So what I'm going to do is I only have one of these with the um, pink, purple, and cream on there. So I might put it right here just to make it look different because I already have the roses there. So I'm going to just play with it just a minute to see. Okay, that's another rose, but that's the two color. This is the one and I may not use it because it's the only one that I have like that. So I don't want to put it on there. And that's too close to that one. So the only other option I have is this rose. Because you want to kind of keep it, you know, all um, in the same category. I don't want to have one pink and purple flower. And that's the only one that I have on there. So even though I am the purple girl. My favorite color is purple. I use it and wear it all day long if I could. So I think I have all my flowers on here. And again, you'll have your um, little 
glue webs just they'll come right off you can either gently rub them or gently touch it they will come right off I promise you they are not permanent so this is what my little baby looks like I'm gonna hold it up for you guys in a minute and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to the center and this is what I'm gonna have as um, part of my centerpiece. Let's try here. And make sure all the glue webs are off because I can't put my um, spiritual words on here if I got the glue sticks, glue webs all on it. I'm just trying to get them off. So, I might can put another flower there. So right now I'm going to hold it up so you'll see what my baby looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Using two Dollar Tree mirrors, I have made a lovely centerpiece tray. I'm going to hold it a little close for you to go up and down. You see some little blue uh, webs are still on it. That's what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can put some hooks on this and hang it on the um, wall if you want to. That is your choice. But for me, I am going to use it as a centerpiece tray. And I absolutely love it. What I need to do now, guys, and I don't see my tissue, and I don't want to keep getting up and be a bad host. <laughs> is just make sure this is wiped off, which I thought I had some there. So I'm gonna gently make sure all my glue webs are off. You can just run your hands over it to make sure. And a lot of these flowers I got, you know, I got most of these, I think, from the local Dollar Tree. And I told you my favorite uh, cashier up in there is Trey crazy as you want to be but always eager to help the customers and um, I knew what I was looking for and he helped me find my flowers so Trey at Dollar Tree you are the bomb I appreciate you straight stay true to yourself he's always eager to help the customers and he's friendlier than any cashier that I've seen um, And I think you just started, because sometimes you can go on the Dollar Tree and nobody will help you. They'll have stuff everywhere. You're asking questions. They'll be like, oh, I think we're out. But they won't go look and check for you. And then you have some that will take that extra mile and um, help you get what you want. But now when I was talking about let's put something in there, you know, these are the wall sayings at the Dollar Tree. They're translucent. And they're stickers. So I don't know if I'm going to, let me see. I can only probably put, well, I can probably use them both, but I'm only going to put one in there. And it says, worry less. And pray more. And I think I'm going to put the pray more on here, which I, you know, we all worry. So I want to put that on now. But as you get older, you, you don't worry as much as you used to. When everything used to bother you when you were younger, as you get older, you're like, oh, I don't care. But I am going to put the, the pray more on here. So let's see how it goes. So I'm going to blind as a bat as you see me. Try to peel it off. So here it is, it's translucent, and I am going to put it straight across, I'm going to make sure it's even, because I'm going to put it straight across where the two mirrors meet, and that'll also hold your tray together. You know, we have it um, glued at the back, and 
make sure that it's even. You don't want any air bubbles in there. I mean, it's not permanent when you pull it down, so it, you know, gives a little. I'm trying to get this as straight as possible. I don't want any air bubbles in it. So I'm pressing down, so give me a moment. So I'm turning away from the camera for my beautiful people. Just turning away from the camera. Just pressing this down. And I'm gonna make sure all the air bubbles are out of here. And then I'm gonna hold it up again so you guys can see it. What I'm doing is just taking my finger, going across the sticker, making sure it adheres to the tray. Cause I want you guys to love this. Now I know the first person is probably gonna call me up or put a comment on my video. That's Angelita. She goes, sis, I like that. I love that, sis. Okay. Thank you, darling. So, shout out to all my girls coming to the uh, Mother's Day um, luncheon, which is Angela at Walmart, Manasha and Katrina at the hospital where I work, um, Tamika, she works for Home Health, and let's see who else sandra she works at in medical records so and then there's me and then my aunt charlotte my aunt charlotte is going to travel down and be with us so we are just going to have a ball so i'm still at hearing this because i feel the air bubble in here so i'm making sure i get that out and making sure that it is sealed across where the two mirrors meet and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see it. And this is what our mirror looks like with that pray more in the center. This is a lovely, lovely centerpiece. Again, you can use it as a wall hanging. You can use it as a table runner. You can use it on your coffee table. I am gonna use it as a centerpiece on my dining room table for the um, Mother's Day luncheon. So, ladies and gentlemen, all my family and friends and fellow YouTube subscribers, this is the end of my video. Have a great night. Peace and love, and I will see you in the next video. And if you really like my videos, because I'm a new YouTuber, I want you to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Mm. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Mm.